Man has always wondered, what are these substances made of? Fine, he calls them matter, but then what is matter? This is not only today's phenomenon. Even our ancient philosophers, they wanted to know what is matter. As far as 500 BC, one of our sages, Maharishi Kannar, he said that if we keep dividing a substance, ultimately it will be broken down into a particle which cannot be further divided. He used the term padarth for substance. So, what he said if you keep breaking a padarth, agar aap padarth ko torte jaye, so in the end what will be left will be a particle which is very very small and that small particle he called Parmanu. Now just imagine you have a piece of bread or a chapati. You split it into two then each part again into two and you keep on doing this. Ultimately maybe from a round roti you will get to a such a small piece which cannot be further divided. So, this is not only true of chapati or bread, it is true for every substance. So, that is what he called. Later, Pakudha Katyayam, another ancient Indian sage, he said that these small particles, the Parmanu, they can combine to form different forms of matter, which means ultimately every substance is made of Parmanu and Parmanu can make different things like the arrangement of Parmanu can result into the production of different type of substances. Something like your alphabets, you have 26 alphabets, now depending upon which alphabets and in what order they are being used, we can have a variety of words. For example, a very typical example if I take O, P and T, it becomes opt. If I do not change the alphabet, just change their arrangement, it can become top or opt. Now, just by three alphabets, just by changing their arrangement, I could get three words. So, imagine how many words are there with the help of only 26 letters. Similarly, there is something very small, indivisible, which Maharishi Kannar called as Parmanu. Now, the arrangement of Parmanus and different type of Parmanus can make many different type of substances. For example, your wood, your metal or what you eat, all these things are ultimately made up of small particles. Now, this was not only what Indian philosophers thought. Greek philosophers also reached almost similar conclusion. So, Greek philosophers like Democritus or Leucippus, they also said that there is a, a particle which is indivisible. That means it cannot be further divided. In other words, everything is made up of particles. It was only later that Lavoisier and Joseph L. Proust, they did lot of experiments and by doing those experiments, they reached certain conclusions. Now, these conclusions were actually presented in the form of laws. 